Washington Commanders are making roster moves. Well, of course, you guys know about the roster moves that the Washington Commanders made earlier in the week during the trade deadline, um, and that's, of course, trading away Montez Sweat and Chase Young, but the Washington Commanders have also been making some other um, moves, um, and rightfully so. Of course, they're talking about uh, some of the moves they are making Signing some players off of the practice squad onto the active squad. Uh, the Washington Commanders announced two roster moves today. Um, the team has announced uh, linebacker Jarrell Cox and uh, DB uh, Tariq Castrofields from the practice squad. Uh, both players have been elevated for game days uh, over the last few weeks for special team snaps. Washington didn't announce any roster moves for the team's 16-man practice squad. They had two open roster spots after trading uh, defensive ends Montez Sweat to the Bears and Chase Young to the 49ers at Tuesday's NFL trade deadline. Washington could also be placing rookie um, offensive lineman Ricky Stromberg on injured reserve soon. He suffered a knee injury versus the Eagles last week and was on crutches. He's already been ruled out um, for the Patriots game on Sunday. So, uh, <clears throat> certainly Washington is making some moves in terms of the roster, uh, bring some guys up. Um, I, you know, now that we have two roster spots, um, <clears throat> yeah, I expect them to maybe go out and see if there are some other guys out there that they can, they can sign. I, I would love to see them, um, to come in, maybe pick up some, you know, an extra linebacker, spliman, um, you know, guys like that. Um, <clears throat> I think we're okay at defensive end, honestly. I know some people are going to be like, what are you talking about, Greg? We just got rid of two of our best defensive line ends. Uh, but honestly, I think we're okay there. Um, I would really like to see uh, Washington being able to have some, some depth there at the offensive line because – all right, you know, I'm not going to give up hope on this year just yet, but if there's some hope that um, this offense and this team can make a push, then you want to have some offensive line depth. And uh, so being able to maybe pick up some guys there um, would would be a a good thing. Um, So we'll have to see. I mean, we already got one of our guys probably going to head to uh, injured reserve, Ricky Stromberg. And um, honestly, our starters, a couple of our starters have just been very ineffective. So very quickly, you can see an offensive line getting very thin, very fast. And, um, you know, we, we saw that when you have good protection for Sam Howell, he plays a lot better. And we, you want to keep that up. So um, it'll be interesting to see, you know, we're, we have now reached pretty much the midpoint of the season and this is when you really start to see teams, you know, their rosters change dramatically from the start of the season. And um, actually, I am very surprised that uh, Washington's roster stayed pretty much the same uh, for quite a while. Usually by this point, the roster seems like it has changed so much that you're almost like, I forgot this guy was even on the team. <laughs> um, but... Um, but now we, we've reached the point where changes have been made. And now that we have jettisoned a couple of our defensive ends, um, you know, we're going to see Casey Tuhill. We're going to see um, James Smith Williams. Um, so, you know, a lot of changes, uh, especially on the de- defensive side, but it also gives us an opportunity to maybe go out and sign some other guys as well. Um, so it'd be interesting to see, but. Um, I'm always excited to see what some of our practice squad guys can come up and do. You know, others may look at this as uh, they're on the practice squad for a reason. They're not good enough to play in the game. I don't always disagree or agree with that. Um, I think 
sometimes, yeah, that's that's the truth. Guys just need to develop. But it may take just about a half a season for them to be on a practice squad to develop and be ready, you know, just to be kind of game ready. And they come out and they've, they've had enough practice where they're ready to compete. You know, maybe they were not there just yet in training camp, but, you know, it takes them a, a couple of more months or so to really get acclimated. And so maybe this is their opportunity to really come in and shine. They're fresh. You know, some of the other uh, players who've already been playing are kind of, you know, war torn and, and uh, beat up a little bit. And these guys are fresh and coming in there and they're, they're excited. They're ready to play and, and make some plays. So, um, you know, I'm always excited about that, especially when there's some extra linebackers, because honestly, it's, it seems like that, even though it's crazy, it's, it's, it's so, um, I don't know. It's just, it's weird how you have, uh, two linebackers who are basically head coaches on this team, ex linebackers and linebacker has been a position that has just been so weak on this, on this team. So I'm, I'm interested to see what Jabril Cox can, can do for us. Um, I mean, you know, can he do any worse? Can he do any better? Um, speaking of linebacker and all of that, I know that um, Cole Holcomb um, is no longer a commander, but uh, my heart goes out to him. He had a very severe knee injury um, against, um, well, uh, last night um, against the Titans, I believe it was. The Pittsburgh Steelers were playing the Titans, and and uh, just to hope for a very speedy recovery for Cole Holcomb. Um, you know, anytime it, it's our ex um, you know, Washington players like that. Um, I still pull for those guys, you know, still a big Kirk cousins fan. I mean, I just hate it when Kirk cousins went down with that, um, Achilles injury, you know, I mean, he, he hadn't missed a game. So, um, you know, I hope for a speedy recovery. I just, I, I've always loved, I hate it that we got rid of Cole Hookham. Honestly, I think that was a huge mistake, um, by this franchise to give up Holcomb, but, you know, it is what it is. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a share. Uh, leave me a comment, comment section. With that said, I will see you in the next one.